Hey everybody, Dr. Tim Turlip here. Just want to thank you first before you begin uh, for joining us for this uh, edition of Three Minutes to Vitality. So, and also want to thank you for all your questions and the emails, um, and even responding with some of the video chats uh, coming back with the video responses. Really great. Um, uh, and so I wanted to address a couple that actually were from when we talked about innate intelligence and the inborn wisdom of the body. And so I wanted to address that specifically because it seemed to have struck a, uh, a chord and, and seemed appropriate. So let's talk a little bit again about in, in, innate intelligence again. Innate means inborn. Um, it means something that we're imbued with naturally. We don't have to work for it. It is just there. And intelligence, of course, if you one of my favorite definitions from Webster is just looking at it, is the ability to organize. So it's an inborn ability to organize. And in healthcare, sometimes in medicine, we'll refer to it as homeostasis or homeostatic <laughs> mechanisms. And what that refers to is just the ability of the body to get to an equilibrium. So even though all kinds of things change and go back and forth, the body stays within a certain parameter and does things. There are some simple examples of this which are really great, like the body's pH. Is such a simple example, which is the ability around the acid and base balance. So we become too acidic. The body does all kinds of things from the kidneys to excrete uh, more acidic elements to bring us back down to a more basic element. Um, it also changes respiration. So we start breathing more heavily. Um, it actually changes by expelling more CO2, changes the acidic character uh, of the body again. A body temperature, a significant a uh, thing that the body works to keep in that area. Um, have you ever wondered why you started shivering when it was cold? Uh, well, that's because your body's trying to create that temperature difference to create more heat. There's others as well. Um, and you ever wonder why you sweat when we actually get hot? Well, again, and why you get cold, actually, if you get into a breeze or something, because that's your body's natural mechanisms to actually cool us down. So there's lots of examples of this. <clears throat> to move forward. My favorites are the ones where we actually to defend us against invaders um, to actually for pathogens, for viruses and bacteria and even cancer cells that may start to develop. How the immune cells of the body respond without us being aware. It's innate, it's inborn. I don't have to do it. I get a cut, um, all of a sudden the blood vessels start to constrict to slow down blood flow. There's a fancy thing called platelet aggregation. Certain cells in my blood start to clump up to, to ward it off. There's other hormones that shift um, into effect that then cause certain things in, uh, to flow to that area. Vitamin K becomes with uh, its, its factors to co cause the blood to coagulate, to become thickened, to actually shut off the blood flow naturally. Now, if I had to know how to do that uh, mentally when I'm bleeding, I'd be half dead before it was over. Um, how about heart rate itself and regulation of heart rate? Um, when my oxygen demands go up because I needed to run, I was afraid, I needed to defend myself, whatever it was, and my heart rate goes up to actually change my oxygen levels, when my respiration rates goes up to bring in more oxygen, to dispel more CO2, carbon dioxide. Wow, it's, it's a, I don't even think of these things. They're innate and they're inborn. And all of these things are under the umbrella of the nervous system which is the paramount system in the body, which is what actually controls and coordinates innate flow and innate intelligence in the body, which is one of the reasons why we see such really remarkably great things happen with regular chiropractic care, because by optimizing neurologic function through movement, we actually optimize the expression of all those interesting things that we just touched on, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So I hope that I addressed a couple of things that the snippets and the questions that people had. Please drop them in. I really, really appreciate um, your engagement and, and the curiosity. It's just great. So until the next time, thanks so much for walking, uh, for walking and for watching, and I'll see you then. Thank you.